Should I be concerned about a voluntary pay cut scheme due to COVID-19? My employer is a medium-sized IT SaaS business, around 2 to 300 employees global, where I've been employed for all employees are currently working from home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I've been asked, along with the rest of the employees, to take a voluntary pay reduction in response to the coronavirus pandemic and the impact it will have on the business. The reduction is pitched at a percentage over a fixed threshold, with an increased percentage for higher earners. If agreed, the scheme is set to operate for a fixed period, a few months, followed by a review and possibly another request for extension. The scheme is voluntary, although I believe that that has more to do with the legal situation regarding employment contracts. Salary here in the UK, the announcement was made with the justification of community and pitching in together to avoid redundancies across the business. There's been no mention of the UK government's support scheme, salary support, e.g. furloughed workers or reducing hours worked. My intuition says that what I'm being asked is to work the same for less compensation, which is unreasonable. My feelings are that the company is supposed to plan to survive bad situations, and the compensation I receive was not negotiated to be contingent on the performance of the business. I'm concerned that this might communicate something deeper about the company's financial status, in which case I should be looking to move sooner, rather than later. Talking to a few of my peers, though, it seems like the general consensus is that this is a bad situation for everyone and I might be being more cynical than is required. Am I overreacting here? What are my options? It's never a good sign, and I think you're correct to be concerned, but it doesn't necessarily reflect particularly on your current employer. Many companies the world over are struggling or facing an uncertain future right now and it doesn't necessarily mean that they were in a precarious position before this all started. To avoid redundancies across the business. This is perhaps the concerning area, and it may seem on the surface to be highly dubious. After all, avoiding redundancies was precisely the purpose of the government scheme to pay 80% wages to furloughed staff. Although if there is still work there to be done, and perhaps penalties to avoid in contractual delivery arrangements to customers, I can see how it would be preferable to keep the company operating even if it means still paying out the majority of the wage to the staff. Furloughed employees can't do any work for the company, if they do that government assistance goes away. The scheme is voluntary, although I believe that that has more to do with the legal situation regarding employment contracts, salary here in the UK. Correct, they can't unilaterally reduce your pay if you're working the same hours and doing the same role. My intuition says that what I'm being asked is to work the same for less compensation, which is unreasonable. And you aren't wrong, it essentially is unreasonable, I would perhaps consider this avenue, it may be possible to negotiate some provision in the agreement regarding back pay or extra time off or similar for when the situation improves. My feelings are that the company is supposed to plan to survive bad situations, to a certain extent this is true, but companies can rarely afford to operate at the sort of margins where they can have a large contingency fund, especially if they are operating in a competitive sector. Add in that the current crisis is essentially unprecedented in the modern era and who could have planned for this. And the compensation I receive was not negotiated to be contingent on the performance of the business. You're being a touch naive here, it may not have been a direct performance related pay situation but any business when calculating how much they can afford to pay someone is going to be factoring in the expected performance of the business, not necessarily just the person's own impact on that. Barring startups and the like where they have investment and are expected to operate at a loss for a period of time, the basic keystone is that money coming into the business is what pays for the wages. If there's no, or significantly less, income then at some point it simply gets untenable to pay wages, so in some ways yes, your wages are absolutely contingent on the performance of the business. In which case I should be looking to move sooner, rather than later. Looking at it purely from a you-centric point of view, do you honestly think you're going to find things much better out there on the job market in the near future? Remember this isn't just your company that's affected, many companies are going to be putting hiring freezes into place or be more restrictive in what salary they can pay right now. And as the old saying goes, last to be hired, first to be fired, you stand a very real risk of going from frying pan to fire. What are my options? I think as I discussed above it's worth exploring a conversation about getting the agreement to include some recompense for the time spent at a reduced rate. It shows a willingness to accommodate the company during a difficult time but still conveys that you think your work is worth your current rate. Equally if the situation improves and they aren't living up to their end of the bargain, at that point you'll have a healthier job market to jump into.
Otherwise you could refuse to volunteer, depending on how others react and how the economic situation at large pans out, this may mean that you carry on as before and nothing is lost. I'm not sure I'd like the potential stigma of being the only person who wouldn't pitch in, that sort of thing sticks in management memories. <laughs>